Delighted that FM Scout has started work at Fargo Celtic Football Club. But I'll tell you one thing, if he doesn't perform, he's straight out that door. Yo, 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 what's going on? Ellis, there's nobody here yet. Where are you all? Say hello in the chat if you just joined. Sella, what's going on? I'll be a quiet one today, actually. It's quite early, to be fair, and it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> um, we're still going to stream, though, you know? We are unbeaten. Ellis, you missed the stream yesterday, right? Look at Naki Wells. Look at that. And to top it off, Ellis, you're not even a member, so you cannot use this. I like I'm getting the Milanadov hype from him. MV, what's going on? Leah, hello. Felipe, what's going on, mum? Been in the Discord for a bit. Nice. I've seen you posting. Fair play, fair play. Jesus, my ear. Look at look at my receding patch. Jesus. Molly, go on, bed. Sorry, my dogs. Molly, bed. How are you all doing anyway? Um, yeah, so yesterday, Ellis, we, um, I don't know if you caught up on the stream, we beat Bolton, League One team. This music's really loud, one second. It's like 150 people here yesterday as well, it's a pretty crazy stream, it's quite late though. Uh, but yeah, we beat Bolton, and um, yeah, we actually beat Huddersfield 4-1. They did get a red card in the 67th minute, but we was already 2-1 up. Uh, you can see they had Unas and everything. They had a really good team, but they was near the bottom of the championship, so we kind of dominate on, on the morale side of things. Um, and we've got given a trip to Bristol City. Well, Bristol City are coming to our grounds for three home games in the AFL. Leah, thank you. The first member of the stream. Can we get some love in the chat? Hello, Leah. Mr. Mount, what's going on, man? How are you doing? Uh, but yeah, Bristol City are in the Premier League bottom. 
not necessarily a, you know the Premier League team you would expect, right? Um, I'm playing music in the backgrounds. Can you air any music? Because otherwise it's going to get copyrighted. Well, at the, at the minute, it doesn't like any music's coming through. Molly, bed. Can't air anything. Okay, so usually when you when you become a member, I don't know why the music's not coming through. That's that's good. Um, because usually you get the Champions League sounds. Okay, you can hear the music. Okay, we're gonna have to keep that off. There's a, there's a, there's a setting on Discord that I can change. But usually you can hear this. Yeah. I, I'm going to say no. I don't want to risk getting copyrighted. <laughs> uh, it's fine. And I, I like to play music when I'm playing Football Manager. Uh, okay, so yeah. That's really a catch-up on, on yesterday's stream. We didn't really sign anybody, to be fair. Um, yeah, we're just starting. We started really well. We are second. We have Drew too. I think Plymouth are top, right? I found the database which you can put youth ranking on every country at the same level. Yes, Mr. Mao, are you in our Discord channel? Holy beds. My dog's going on one. Uh, we've also got this. So it's quite small, you can't really read it. It was quite hard to do. You can you can guess what it is, right? So if you are a member, I expect you to spam that. Or if you see Nakuel score, I expect to spam that. <clears throat> but yeah, apart from that, let's let's crack on. I don't know how long the stream is going to be today. It might be a long one, to be fair. I I mean, I'm not doing anything all day. The the missus is at work all day till nine o'clock tonight. So, um, yeah, it might be a long stream today. It might be the longest one of the series. I'm just going to get you a little bit excited. We've got who we got coming up. So I, you know, the EFL Trophy North. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that we, we have this as maybe our like, uh, or the leasing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if you call it the EFL Trophy or the Leasing dot com Trophy. I think we should have this as our FA Trophy. I think usually we don't play these games on our saves, but I think we should probably give it a go. This FM. Did you find something out that our strikers will shoot the ball in the goal instead of hitting straight at the keeper 25 times a game? My strikers have been on form, man. Naki Wells, six... I'm going to keep talking about him. You guys know this. Um, six appearances, 12 goals in League 2. He is declining. His value is going down. But uh, Discord is discord.gg forward slash fmscouts. Let's play the first game. We've got Rochdale, who are currently 20th in League 2. They've not started very well. You can see, 20th, they've won one game. We are at home as well, so the odds are on us to win this game. Um, Mitch Clark is unregistered. Why is that? Can you register any time in this? Where's Mitch Clark? Let's try. I, think, I don't know if that just worked. Let's have a look. Yeah, it worked. Okay. <clears throat> what tactics are you using? Just a 4-4-2. With overlap and high, high defensive line. Um, so... The bad news yesterday's stream was Danny Redmond getting injured three to five months. That was, that was the downside of, this, of yesterday's stream, really. Um, I've got a few fitness issues coming up, which I'm noticing, which we are going to have to rotate. I might do that this game. Let's see what Zach Swanson can do. He's not the best of players. But let's see what he can do this game. Um, the wings are really poor, let's be honest. 
We're going to go with that. We're going to save Divine for... I'm going to play Divine in this game because it's a league game. Let's go with that. Oh, I've got too many loans. Oh, no. Um, we're going to play Rooney. Let's play Rooney. We should probably sell Dico, to be fair. Oh, we are. Divine's really unfit for some reason. <clears throat> You've got Malumbi. Yeah, Malumbi. I. You should have seen when we signed him. Like I've had him on previous saves, and he's he's so good. Like previous FMs I've had him is just a beast. His work rate, his determination, everything about him. I'm one 0 down. <laughs> oh, we, let's not lose this record, boys. Come on. Let's not do this. Always when I go offline, innit? All the time. When we come back onto the save, we're terrible. Does that happen to anybody else? Or is it just me? <clears throat> Rooney's going to get sent off, probably. We're probably going to lose, looking at this. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting this, I'll be honest. I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> um... Okay, we, we can pull this back. We, we can, I'm confident. I'm confident we can pull this back. I mean, Nakuel's looking at... That's the reason that we're losing 2-0, let's be honest. Um, Nakuel's is only interested. It, he's the glue that puts his team together. He's at the post. Godfrey, what's going on? LPS, how you doing, man? That's why I'm not quitting the game after five straight wins. Is that, is that saying on FM, right? Just one more game. Wells. Wells. Oh. That's my... I use sideline. It's the lowest height. And the zoom moves based on going like that. With your scroll bar. Rooney. Ambrose. It's through on goal. Ambrose. Got to finish it, man. Miles. What's going on? First game of the stream, Miles 2 0 down in the first 10 minutes. Can't seem to handle Rochdale for some reason. He shouldn't be able to get through there. Oh, look at that. Straight past it to me. In the main. Find the pass. Wells. Wells. Oh, Naki Wells. Oh, what a guy. Lynch is an annoying keeper in League 2. <clears throat> Naki Wells. What about the goalkeeper for Rochdale? In the main. Oh, it's a goal. 2-2. Two -two. They score a goal in 10 minutes and we score two goals in three minutes. Morgos with a free kick. No one marking the main. Nice and easy. 2-2. Two -two. Wells is a machine. I I like. I know that the thing is about well, it's getting old, isn't he? Let's be honest. It's probably not going to be with us in League One, but or well, it might be. He probably will be, to be fair. But it, I'm getting like the Milanidov feeling from him. That's why I've made him out. <laughs> I'm. I don't know. The concern. That's a poor ball. Malumbi Ambrose. Is he going to go alone? And it's um, it's three two. What a change! Kept spam we kept spamming. Show some passion then. Uh, another Molumbi assist as well. Bit of power on that strike from. I mean, their keeper's done terrible. Let's be honest. He should have saved all three of them. I'm gonna take off Divine now. He's struggling. Uh, I'm gonna bring on Mass. If I uh, yeah, let's take off Wells. I'm bring on Smith as well for Morgos. I shouldn't make three subs at 60 minutes. I keep doing it. Right, one second, guys. Oh, okay, I'm back. There you go. <clears throat> Uh, how long have you been streaming? Um, literally 16 minutes. This is the first game. 
Revan. And I'll watch the Millwall game at the Daniel Stay they degree. All right, hopefully we can hold on to this. This has been a lot harder than it should have been. They're still having, like, every team is still having a lot of attacks against us, though. Mass. Mass. Unlucky. Naki Wells is in the prem for me. Lola Free is into the save. Really? Jesus. What, you signed him in the prem, or he's gone to the prem with the AI? He's definitely not a Premier League player, surely. Dickinson. Oh, Revan, first goal, for, uh, second goal actually for Revan, 4-2. If we carry on like this, we're going to break some records this year. When will the stadium be finished? Um, they said 10 months, didn't they? So, uh, April time, May, March time, April time, Ambrose. The problem is this season is going to take so long because there's so many highlights. He signed for Brighton, wow. Is it, what's his wage? Oh, it's own goal. Yeah, he's only on um, 2k, I think, for us. 2.6k. Why are we conceding so many goals? I'm hoping that's enough. Give me the three points. Right, I'll take it. Three points against Rochdale, nice. Good start to the stream. The transfer window closes. We've got no plans to sign anyone else, so. My board went all out and made a 10k stadium. Oh no. <laughs> um, we've got some goal bonuses here. Nemain is still shining though. Like, Nemain is still it's doing alright, isn't he? Like, it's still not doing bad. Getting a few good... um. Good average ratings. Yeah, we've got Grinsby next in the EFL Trophy North. The first time we've played in the EFL Trophy. <clears throat> right, we, I don't think we're going to get anyone else in. I've got no... I mean, we could ask the director, but I doubt we're going to find it. I mean, these are the obvious positions, but I doubt the director's going to find anything interesting. Who the hell's Notterden? Ooh, Montenegrin region. Ooh. That's, ooh. I mean, as a winger, it's not the best, let's be honest. I bet we can't sign him anyway because of a work permit, right? Yeah, see, they're not great. Wingers are so hard to find. Got nice pace. Yeah, it's, I don't think we need to sign it. I think we're all good, to be honest. The more money I can save, the better, really. I forgot to press transfer. Who was that at FA? What's FA? Did you see that? How did I get that? Where did that FA guy come from? Did I press free transfer? FA 2000? Oh, that's a Danish team. There's some really weird suggestions here. I'm not going to bother. I, I can't be bothered, to be honest. I want to get some games done. Um, fairly professional and personal like two for the Montenegrin. Yeah. Average of 5k attendance. Yeah, our attendance is a terrible. Isn't it strange that you can assign under 23 coaches to the first team training without the workload that coach in the under 23 again ever year? <clears throat> it is strange. Um, I haven't started to do that yet, so 
I don't think we need to just yet. Until we get a bit more money in the club, I think we're all good. Um, got enough. I think we've got enough coaches and stuff at the minute. We need to start getting some money into the team. But we just can't get the attendances up. Like, It's the hardest thing to do on FM. It's the biggest slog in the world. Like, Our attendances at the minute are averaging... Oof. Average attendance, 1,272. Oof. But Bradford at 17k. Like, we're going to get hit with financial fair play so much because we're not bringing any money into the team throughout the season. Um, This is the hardest team I've done in terms of attendances, to be fair. And we've won the FA Trophy twice at that as well. How big's the new stadium? It's not a lot. Um, it is... Um, well, we're playing at Accrington at the minute. And due to move back to the 5,500 capacity, Russell Nest after planned, exp ex planned expansion. Um... So I've got excellent academy coaching, which is good. We have been increasing our academy coaching. Um, but you can see this, look. Poor training, poor data analyst, poor youth. Youth level zero. Or does, is that, that... That's us, right? That's not Accrington. Yeah, that's us. That's Accrington there, I think. Do we have excellent academy coaching? I don't know if we do. I don't know if that's based on um is that I think that might that might be the Wham Stadium, right? So I don't think we have excellent academy coaching. That's gotta be based on the Wham Stadium. I mean we we go back on there on the thirteenth of March, by the way. <clears throat> I think that's the Wham Stadium. So yeah, we're gonna actually take the EFL trophy serious. Um my board decided to upgrade youth level four at the moment, and we turned professional, costing me two million a year. Yeah, sometimes it's it's not that important until you get to the Premier League. You've got the money coming in. Um, yeah, it's it's quite interesting. It costs a lot of money. Like I like to get my youth recruitment and stuff up, but this save's going to go on a long time in the Premier League. So, look at that, the biggest transfer, the major transfer. Josh Vella went from Hibs to South End, though. That's a really good signing. But yeah, you've seen on the pictures that we've just um, we've just po posted. We're spending the least amount of money on wages per year. Um, six hundred k a year, the lowest in the football league. Naki Wells, of course, has won August Player of the Month. I mean, how can he not? Six appearances, ten goals. Revan wins Young Player of the Month. And I won the um, the Manager of the Month. Yeah. I've just been praised by my chairman. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Why? Wow, look, look at this. I've never seen... I, I don't think I have. That my... Chairman is happy with me winning Boss of the Month. I can't remember seeing that. Johnny, what's going on, man? <clears throat> right, okay, so we've got a little financial fair play um, report to come through. We are spending 2.4k per week less on play wages. So we're all good in terms of financial fair play. A little bit of a monthly manager's performance review as well. Yeah, overall, pretty good. The board are never going to be like fully happy, are they? Let's be honest. But we are going to play in the... Um, yeah, we're going to play Grimsby now. Naki Wells is going to Bermuda. Okay. Which means mass jumps in. But 
What does QP stand for? I know it stands for qualifying player, but... Okay, well, we're going to go all out. Like, I'm probably going to save Divine, though. We're going to give Zaka a game. We'll use... We'll kind of use, I think, the EFL Cup to slight rotate of any unfit players, maybe. Like, Malumbu, we can rest. We play Matthew Smith. Dickinson, we can give a rest. Um, can't, really. But he can stay in... Okay, let's go. Hopefully, we can get something. I've been streaming for... 27 minutes. We'll play the first game, 1-4-2. Still unbeaten. Do the staff under well transfer and contract renewal responsibilities, or do they do dumb things? I've never risked it, if I'm honest. <laughs> Maybe Chris, try and let us know. <laughs> Ambrose. Sell army. I've heard the contracts are actually done pretty well by the director of football, but I I'm yet to test it, really. What's cracking? Not a lot. Just cracking on with the save. Unbeaten Johnny. Naki Wells destroying it. Ambrose. Smith. Who's who's the um, under twenty three team we've got? Can I remember? I don't know who's in this group to be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure who's in this group. I know Lincoln was. I can't remember who the Premier League team was. Was there a Premier League team? I have no idea. Oh, it's right on the left. Norwich. Okay. Stav, what's going on? Paul, happy New Year to you. And you as well, Stav. Happy New Year. Okay. Okay. 1 0 down. I mean, looking at the group, I mean, apart from Lincoln, we should really look at qualifying this, right? I mean, we can't be losing to Grinsby. You only play the teams once, right, as well? I can't remember. Do you play them twice? <clears throat> it's been so long since I've played in this league. Morgos, the main. Can he win it back? Nope. Just once. Ah, okay. I couldn't remember. Morgos. But we kind of need to win them, right? <laughs> We're playing Lincoln and uh, Norwich. Smith, the main. Oh my god. Can't beat the keeper. So yeah, we kind of need to win this. We've got some big players to bring on, though, if um, if we get a little bit scared. <clears throat> drop a like, guys. Yes, drop a like on the video if you haven't joined, if you haven't done it yet. Massively appreciated. Oh, Man United. Look at that. <laughs> Diego Dalla. They're fi 38 minutes in, they're 5-1 up against Accrington. <laughs> We're going to lose. We're going to actually lose. I said I was taking this serious. Sign Jamie Thomas. I've already had him. Okay, panic time is it in now. Okay, two subs before half time. Panic mode's here. I can't remember how much I sold him for now. Get God before half time here. Dickinson, here we go. Right, pressure's a little bit better. Who's Hoogworth at United? Dutch. They're keeping their striker on who's already injured. Right, nothing really from the strikers. I'm going to take Ambrose off. Bring Dicko on. Oh, I'm going to take Mass off, sorry. Bring Dicko on. 
Dickinson, Ambrose, eyes offside. Two OP, what's going on? We've just this is our second game of the stream. Not a lot. No, not really. Stab at the minute. We've only just got into the football league, so money's not really. We're not able to bring a lot of players in. Well, we're gonna lose. Lincoln are winning as well. Okay, first loss of the season. Oh, maybe not. Rooney. Oh, the main. Morgos. Divine. It'll go ball. Can't get the cross in, though. Morgos, here we go. Come on, get a draw. Divine. Find the player. The main. Oh, Dicko. Get in. Ho oh, ho. Might have just rescued a point here. Oof. Morgos has been doing alright. It's not been doing too bad. Oh, it's penalties. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, this is the first time we've ever had a penalty shootout, by the way. I forgot about the penalty shootouts. Ambrose. I mean, we are pr generally pretty good at penalties. Charles. Come on, save it, Kelleher. Oh, here we go. For once, I've actually been decent at penalties this year. Malumbi, come on. Malumbi, what the hell was that? I could have scored that. I could have hit the ball harder than that, Canavan. Dicko was a while ago. He's kind of a fringe player, though. Morgos. Fucking hell. I spoke. I, I need to stop saying shit like I've, I'm good at penalties. We're going to lose. Got to save this. Hello, come on, save it, man. Oh, fucking hell. Carl, what's going on? Right, we've got to score, and then we've got to save the next one. Penos are fucked up this year. How did you attract him to Farsley? What, Dicko? It's not that odd. The longer they stay out of contracts, the easier they are to sign. Really not that hard to attract half decent players to your club. You just gotta bid for them at the right time. It's, only, it's not even on a lot of money a week either. Right, if they score this, they get the two points, I think. Unless Callagher can save me. Oh, he saved it. Bloody hell, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, game on. Namain. Score this, save the next one. Namain, come on. Oh, here we go. I don't know why I'm getting excited for penalties in the AFL trophy. <laughs> can Kelleher, Kelleher become a hero? To the three fans on the right-hand side. What do you reckon? It's got to be a record low attendance, surely. Oh, he saved it as well. <laughs> wow, nice. I wasn't expecting a win there. But we just got we just won on penalties. <clears throat> Kelleher, decent. Slay miles, man. <laughs> Doncaster just a, a little weird win. Um seven three against Mans. I love the I really love the results in the AFL trophy. Where's Lavery? <laughs> love Lavery, man. Doncaster 7, Man City 3, Rotherham 5, Morecambe 2, Manchester lost 6-0 to Liverpool, Tramier won 4 1 8 1 to Manchester United. Anything else? Exeter beat Arsenal, under 23s. Chelsea, under 23s won. So, how many? I mean, this is Dicko, by the way. It's not very good. It's two star. That's my affiliate team, I know. I know. Um, 
So how many points do we get for that? Two points. Oh, we've got the Premier League game coming up soon. We play Bristol City. In the Premier League. In the FL Cup. 145 fans. The previous low was against St Albans, 2019. 289. We, we've, we've broke the record. We, I told you we'd break a record. 145 fans. Jesus. What's even the point of opening? May as well play it behind closed doors. Yeah, five hundred pound a week is decent. How's Daki Wells been playing? I mean, I made an emote especially for him for the members. So if you are a member and you see Naki Wells score, spam them at Naki emote. <clears throat> I'll show you in a sec. Um. So yeah, Naki Wells. 14 goals. That's his stats. I mean, he's declining. Um, seven appearances in the league. 13 goals. Got to be the top scorer in the league, right? Yeah, by a country mile. Look at that. Awesome. I'm getting a lot. I seem to be getting a lot of injuries at the minute, though, which is really annoying. Right, here we go. Scunthorpe next. We are currently 21st. Then we've got Swindon and Crew. A little bit of harder games. We are away at Scunthorpe. 10k, that's a lot of prize money. 10k, decent, to be fair. Kind of pays for, um, you know, the, the fans that didn't turn up. I've got a lot of games coming up here. Let's get my Lumbee back in. Let's get Divine back in. Naki Wells is still out on international duty. Don't come back to the or tomorrow. Okay. I think we go with that. Uh, who's our oh, Dwayne? Got a problem here. Got a big problem here. Because now Danny Redmond's injured. Means I have to play Dickinson. Ah, oh, what do I do here? Jesus Christ, my fitness. Have I got a fitness coach? I have. Why is my fitness so bad? We do need a new attacking coach, though. We'll do that in a sec. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I mean, we, we we've got to we've got to we've got to rest some players. I think. I might actually have to rotate in this game. I'm going to have to slightly rotate, I think. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to win this game. Okay. We're, we're playing a bit too many games. Right, we're going to have to rotate. We're probably going to lose this. This is not going to be good. I'm not playing the best of teams here. Just start one with Kings Lynn and San Jamie Thomas is banging the goals. We've got no Naki Wells. We've got no Morgos. We've got 
No divine. It's going to be a struggle. Mass. But of course, we knew this was going to happen. We spent all the money on the first team this year. We didn't really spend money on the on the backup players. Smith. Oh, Hughes one nil though. Nice. Smith just kind of celebrating on his own. He's definitely in the other category on the social group. We bought a lot of young players in, didn't we? Ambrose. To try and get around the financial fair play. Olumbi, good pass. Unlucky. Paolo Cesar is injured. I mean, these aren't near the bottom, so hopefully we can just win this. So they've got Tammy Abraham up front. Yeah, can you imagine? Swanson. <laughs> what are you barking at? Revan. Ambrose through on goal. Yeah. Only what's up? Oh. Dickinson, great goal. Is it the brother of Tammy, Timmy, uh, Tammy Abraham? I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, Timmy. On loan from Fulham. It's a decent loan, to be fair. Tell what, user's got at set pieces. Guess his head on the ball. Brennan Dickinson is looking exhausted. I know he is, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. Um, I've got a feeling this we're gonna get hit with a lot of injuries this year. Um. Honestly, we're going to get hit really hard, I think. We're, we're kind of in no choice but to play players who's really unfit. It's going to cost us. It will cost us games. I was on cracking bit of form, but now I can't seem to win any games. Drop from 1st to 8th. No tactic change, no major injuries. I just kind of go through it and... It, you always go on bad runs. There's always spells where you get bad runs. It's just how, like, it's always the case. I don't know. I just kind of carry on with it. And nine times out of ten, it, it turns out to be all right. Yeah, rotation's going well. Maybe just try praising the conduct of your players, Dane. Dicko. Or maybe just start telling them off a little bit. That's what I usually do in, in rare cases. Yeah, 2 0 win. Clean sheet. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not really expecting a lot of things, but it seems to be happening. Make it eight unbeaten. We've got... When do we play Bristol City? Oh, four games time. We've got Bristol City. Oh. Oh, Sam Hughes is out for the next game. Uh, hi, Jamie. Sticking with a 4-4-2 or change of formation when we get to the Premier League? I'm not sure, honestly. I have no idea. This tactic is very attacking, and I don't know if it's going to hurt us a lot in the first few years 
in the Premier League. I'm not sure. But I, like, I don't know. Until we get there, we, we don't know. You got any instructions for your strikers? Uh, yes, I think. I can't remember. Just take fewer risks. And a few on that guy. I always, These are the ones I always go with. On every FM. We have one always roaming from position. Last year we had the two advanced forwards as well on FM19. Uh, we play short passing, so pass it shorter. Take fewer risks, shoot less often. But we don't have shoot less often on one of them on the left. Um, mark tight, attack Lala, just the standard really. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm changing yet, Tom. How long am I streaming for? Um, I don't know. I've got no limit on today, really. Might be four hours, might be six hours. Don't know yet. Would you ever do a journeyman save? I don't know. Like I've always planned to do a journeyman save. I had an idea. I was speaking to Mug, one of the moderators, about a few days ago. Like, after this save is finished, probably like August time or something. Um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I've always wanted to do one, but the problem is I like to build a club from nothing to the greatest club in the world. And I, you can't really do that with a journeyman. So I don't know how much I'll enjoy it. I do want to kind of go out and, and experience leagues, but I don't really want to do a journeyman in Europe. So I had an idea that I was going to... I mean, let me see what you guys think to this. After this save, for example... So what I was going to do, Naki Wells is back. So what I was going to do, I was put Morgos on the left. You know, we're going to have to play Dickinson, man. Okay, let's go with that. Oh, I've got six loans again. I keep doing this. I'm struggling here because of because of Redmond. That's the whole reason I'm struggling. We're gonna have to drop Divine. Yeah, so what I was gonna do, I was gonna um when you're back at work tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna do. I was gonna download lots of um, leagues around the world, excluding Europe, like some weird ones like M M Mali or Ghana, and get all these leagues loaded into one save, and just do a journeyman around the world, minus any like any European teams, basically. And just see what happens and see where we end up. I, I don't know yet. We'll see. The main. My server got Birmingham from the champ to the Prem. And then midway through the Prem season I went to Rangers. Yeah, I don't know why you do that. Like, you know, you, you got like... I mean, it's up to you, but you got, you know, Birmingham into the Premier League. Why not continue with them? Is there any fun in coaching internationally in FM? I've heard so. People love doing, like, out-of-Europe saves. Apparently, there's some of the best saves out of Europe. I just, I just get flashbacks of... of uh, a challenge I did once. And I never want to experience that pain again. Which is putting me off doing it. I once managed in American Samoa. And it was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. You could, It was that bad you could put a centre-back up front and it'd be the top scorer. It was awful.
Alright, this is going to be a tricky game because Swindon are actually doing pretty decent. We're still second though. <clears throat> we are missing some use this game, unfortunately. Morgos, Nemain, finish it. Oh, nice. Morgos. He's on it. Oh, that's a red card, surely. That was two footed. That was 100% a red card. Phew, that was dirty, man. That was dirty as hell. Look at this. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell. <laughs> that broke his leg. How do I get back to normal? Oh, we're down to 10 men, which is good news. Pressure's on now. Ambrose couldn't get the ball away. More goss. Went for the shot, weirdly. <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> I feel like I need to gif that. Welcome to League 2. Shall I gif it and put it on Twitter? Alright, this is, this is hard to do. Hang on, let me gif it. I'll advertise, if we stay streaming longer, I'll advertise that the stream is live. There we go, I'll gift it. I just keep going, keep going back. Pinto and Milanov, yeah. I mean, the concern. Boom, 1 0. That was a Vinnie Jones tackle. Can anyone think of like a. Um, a comment that could go with that on Twitter that would make people laugh. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. The concern is offside. You know what I mean, though. You can think of something good I could put with that with that gif on um, Facebook and Twitter. I'll put I'll post it. He lost the ball as well, so he's like, he was annoyed, right? The player did lose the ball, and he got pissed off. <laughs> this is Sparta. Okay, at the minute, can we maybe bring some players on to save a bit of fitness? I'm going to have to put Connor Stanley on that left-hand side, because Dickinson's going to die otherwise. Uh, maybe a clean sheet. We'll take the 1-0 win, man. We'll take it. Nice. Does that put us top of the league? <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Uh, we do go top, boys and girls. And goal difference. No goals from Naki Wells, though. Morgos is out for the next game. Do you have your youth set up yet? Now you're only two. Uh, I'm not sure how to check, to be honest. Um, 
Oh, do you mean do I have, if do I have youth players or the actual setup? I remember seeing the message about it, but I can't remember what it was. I've got Crew, Exeter, and Plymouth coming up, and then we've got them three games, and then we play Bristol City, boys. Oh, what do you think we can do? Can can we beat Bristol Ro uh, Bristol City? They're in the Premier League, the bottom. The morale is going to be awful. The best player being Brian Mubembo, who's out for three weeks. He might not even be back for the game. Can we do it? I mean, it's going to be obvious that Bristol City, Bristol City are going to get relegated, but I, I don't know if we can do that. It's going to be a weird game. I'm telling you that. We're massively on form. They're, they won't be in form. I don't know if we can do it. It's all a morale game when it comes to the cup. It's all about the morale. I, think you can, I honestly think you can beat anybody if the morale is, is terrible and yours is, like, amazing. I mean, I don't think our fitness is going to be great by the time... I mean, we, to be fair, we could do it getting knocked out, let's be honest. You're not going to get that much money for the League Cup and the fitness isn't helping us whatsoever. Sam Hughes is back. I've got... I can't even make enough subs at the minute. How do I cancel the sub off? Yeah. I haven't even got enough subs because I can't put any more loans in. We're going to go with... Oh, no, let's not. Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to go with the same team. I'll, it's like Zach Swanson isn't my first choice. <laughs> but because of uh, the injury too, we're probably going to have to bring in a main two wingers in the summer. I think that's the plan. Oh, in January. Why are you not using target, man? Why would, you, why would I use target, man? Right, I'm going to live downstairs and let the dog out. I'll be back in a second. Two minutes. The dog's bugging me, so I'm just going to let her out.
Bloody hell. It's 4 1 in 13 minutes. I'm back. <laughs> Jesus. I was expecting it to be half time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm thoroughly enjoying this save, but I think it's because we're winning. <laughs> Did I ever play football? Not really, no. Wells? W Wells for a hat-trick! Oh. No. Right, while this game's playing, I'm just going to post this, um, this gif before I forget. I'm just going to put Welcome to League 2. I might put, um... Worst tackle we've ever seen. Let me just get the link to the um, the YouTube channel. I've tweeted it. I'll drop the link in here for you. So drop a like on it. There you go. I just put worst tackle we've ever seen. Stuff like that usually gets lots of likes. Can't believe this is still the first half. We're, we're never gonna like. We're never gonna get anywhere with this. I mean, it's nice to watch, I guess. That's a good, that's good football, to be fair. Oh, my lord. Well, oh, I want, well, I need, we need a Wells that trick. The main, inside. Wells. Oh, Wells, get in. We've got a knack trick. Can we get a knack trick in the chat from the members? Come on. <laughs> Love it. Bang. There's a different emote for you to up here. There's some text saying knack trick. We're just like, this is crazy, man. We're, we're, I don't know why we're playing so well. <laughs> there's, there's like no explanation to it. We, we, we're spending the least amount of money on like in the football league. And we're just destroying teams. I love it, man. Surprised Dickinson can run anymore. <laughs> Do let oh I don't speak Russian, sorry. And what's funny is, like, a lot of these players are kind of from the, the conference as well. Yeah, we didn't play this well in the conference. We all have seasons like this, though, right? There's just things that's, like, you can't describe. Like... Ambrose! Oof. It's Greek. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. 
Oh, the keeper's having a terrible game. Right, let's probably make a change. Let's bring on Rooney. Let's save Dwayne's legs. Um, let's actually save Dickinson. And we're going to save... Save use. Which face pack do you have? Um, a scope face pack. Wells. How many goals do you like? Let's have let's have a discussion. How many goals do you think Naki Wells, if he stays fit, can score this year? Like in all competitions, if he does stay fit, I mean he's thirty one, so he's probably going to pick up maybe one or two injuries this year, which is going to be really annoying. But the way he started is just incredible. What was the um? What what did Jamie Thomas get? Sixty five, seventy eight, no. I've I think I've never had a striker that scored more than forty goals a season. I don't know what Milan I can't remember Milanov stats with Bolton. I'm pretty sure he never got over forty. He definitely didn't hit fifty, I'm sure of it. <laughs> that post is getting a lot of likes. Just checking for you now. Yeah, I don't think he ever got like a massive amount of goals. It felt like he did, but I don't think he, he got loads. We're playing so many games right now. He'll break his leg in January, probably. <laughs> It won't surprise me. We're making a moat for him. We're losing so much money, by the way. We started the stream on like 750 or something K, I think. Yeah, we're losing a lot of money. We're going to be in debt by the end of this year, I think. This doesn't help. <laughs> we just gave Naki Wells <laughs> 15K for scoring 15 league goals this season. We're on the 13th of September. Jesus, we haven't even played two months of the season yet. Um, yeah, what's he on now then? 17 goals, look at that. Oh, what a beast. Graham Alexander sacked by Scunthorpe. To schedule a friendly against Man City to boost your funds? Uh, possibly. I don't know if they'll agree to it. We'll have a look. I mean, we can't really schedule any friendlies. Look at them two months. Um, that's a ridiculous amount of games. I don't, why has this started to be so many games, even in League 2? In September and October. I, don't, I really don't get it. And then there's like three games in December. I, it seems like... It seems a bit ridiculous. So it was the same in non-league. Using two, two, three k a week with Farsley, not much chance of increasing gates because of the size of the town. I know it's hard. That's 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 the challenge, I guess. Um, you're never gonna get a massive amount of money to spend. You're probably gonna need to be in in um in the Premier League like three to four years before you even see a big increase in the stadium in, in attendances. That's the challenge, though. But again, we're spending the lowest amount of money in the league, and we're still top and dominating. So yeah, this yeah. Right, Morgos is back. Go with the same team. The fitness is all right. We need. We probably need to start resting the players, um, training wise. Uh, very shortly, I guess.
<laughs> Everyone's commenting on that. Um, <laughs> that 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 tackle. <laughs> Loads of comments on Facebook as well. Love it. You know what? Yeah, I won't ask for a stadium. I'm, I won't be doing any, like, my facilities and everything will not be increased by my doing. If the board decide to do it, that's the board's choice. But I will not be asking for anything facility-wise until we get to the Premier League. I mean, the AI, the board, the AI board is stupid. Like, they will increase it. It doesn't help that we've got a bank loan as well. Well, I've just seen what Steve just put. We've got a bank loan of, like, a million pound already from the, for the increase of the stadium that they're doing. <laughs> Which only takes the stadium to 5k. So, we are 1-0 down. Could be the first loss. I mean, I don't want to go on a bad run of form before we play Bristol City. Um, that's really what I don't want. It looks like it might be about to happen, I think. The main's made a lot of mistakes today. We're going to take him off. Trincao got 30. Oh, Milanodov in your first season. The Prem got 34 goals. Then your second season got 47 goals. Okay. So we almost... We, oh, Ambrose, nice. We almost had a player then that got 50 goals. Trincao got 37 assists. Jeez. I remember that now. Right, half time, 1 1. Not much to talk about. No team can be... I don't think any team can be fully consistent throughout these two months. It's impossible. Hughes. Duaney. I think that we haven't lost yet, so we are being consistent. Duaney. Terrible shot. Trincao was always my first signing loan in FM19. Would you ever go back to that save? I loved it. A lot of people loved it, to be fair. I mean, we will find them players. Don't you worry about that. Like, I'm fully confident... There will be someone on this save that you fall in love with, like you did with Milanadov. It's always going to happen. But yeah, we won't go back to it. I think we'll leave it as it is. We won the Champions League. Dickinson did well to get the... No one followed that ball through with them. You think playing in the Premier is the hardest league in the game? Nowhere near. After three, four years in the Prem, it's absolutely fine. Penalty. Maybe the first season can be tricky, but once you get that money and after the first season, it, it becomes a lot easier. It's just getting through that first season. Because you don't get a lot of money. But it's just the TV money makes the Prem quite easy in the end. Yeah, that team would have been crazy with Bolton. We had a lot of potential coming through, didn't we? We was, we was building like under 23 years. This is why I wanted this save. I want to carry on throughout the entire of FM20. I want to see what we can actually build in terms of players. So this save won't be ending unless we get sacked. Anytime soon. We just haven't had the chance yet to you know, go abroad and, and find the players. Downside is we've got Brexit, which means it's going to be hard, very hard to sign African and South American um, and Asian players. But we can still sign them. It means we, have, we can give them less money. You know, these players are now going to probably want like a K a week. 
we'll just loan them out. And it'll be that kind of progress instead of staying in the under 23s. Um, and then if they're that good, they're going to get capped and then they'll be able to get a work permit. So, but we've still got all of Europe to go through in terms of, in terms of Wonder Kids, you know. Can you remember that guy with Bolton? I think it was Bolton. Or was it Madeira? It was a, there was a striker, a red team. I can't remember who it was. Uh, I can't remember who it was now. But there was an insane striker that we nearly signed. I don't think it was Bolton. I think it was Madeira. And he was a regen. He looked amazing. It was like a Croatian league or something like that. I can't remember. Maybe not Croatia. I'd be in Russia, actually. I can't remember, but he, he, looked, he looked amazing. So you can build a better team than the Real Madrid team of this decade, winning four Champions League in five years. That maybe might be the, the end game, I think, of this save. Usually I, end the, usually I end the save, like, after we win the Champions League. But I'm, yeah, this year I'm, I'm not going to do that. I want to carry on. And see what we can build going forward. I won I finished first last season. <laughs> that tackle's awesome. Changing my music. Any Christmas songs keep coming in my recommended playlist? Have you ever built a team with all five star players on FM with regions? Um, not really, no. We've got so much to do. I just, I just want to get like to the Prem now. Because we've got so many like scouting assignments to set up. We've got so much to do. What music you like listening to? I listen to anything really. Within reason. Like 80s, 90s music is my favourite. Oh, look at this, boys. The first time Farsley are going to play a Premier League team. We've got Plymouth next, who's seconds. And the points gap is currently three points. We're a game in hand as well. I don't know why we're a game in hand. Probably the EFL Cup. Do we go with the same team? We go with the same team, I think. This might be the first time I've had almost a team that's homegrown. <laughs> if you've watched me before, I don't tend to go for like homegrown players. But you know, look at this. I think this might be a new um a new style of Jamie player. Do any of your co-workers watch your streams? Yes, a few of them do. We always talk about it when we're at work. They don't really talk in the chat, but they, they watch it. Oh, it's going to be a tricky game, especially away from home. Oh, we got out Dickinson. No, I, oh, I couldn't release the ball. Jose Baxter, I remember when he was really good at Everton, maybe, I think. Wells. Morgos Wells. Oh, he lined it up, and it's 1-0. Can we, um, we've got to get the Naki Wells emote in the chat. Naki Wells, 1-0. It took a, well, the keeper almost saved it, to be fair. What, what even happened there? I don't get that goal. I don't really understand what happened. How can he get that much power? Yeah. 
Uh, I don't really support a Premier League team, to be fair. I support Mansell, don't I? So. I still watch the Premier League match of the day and stuff, but generally don't follow a Premier League team. At right, half time, 1 0. <laughs> Skills. A bit close. Well, look at the grant pace from Grant here. They opened us up here. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Jeez. I mean, the game is very even. Apart from the possession, we've got massive possession, but generally shot-wise, the game is really even. Malumbi, nice. Good interception by the box-to-box. -box. Wells, finish it. Oh. I'm running out of things to say about him. I really am. I, what, I, when I spotted him, obviously when we found him, it was so good how we found him. We found him by the filters as well. Which was even better, I think. Whoa, what was that? That's a free kick. and It just missed everybody, I think. Oh, keeper. 3-0. Does team talks matter? Why do you leave it to your assistant? Because the assistant is generally better than me. <laughs> Let's be honest. My assistant is really good, and he very rarely gets anything wrong. So I, that's a penalty. Boy, it's 4-0 about to be against Plymouth. I think we might be getting an early promotion at this rate. Oh, never mind. Naki Wells, Mr. Adtrick. For God's sake. What do you think to the new proposed Sooness offside rule? What's that? <laughs> Jinxed it. I always do, to be fair. This fitness is not looking good, is it? Yeah, this fitness is looking awful, man. Ryan, what's going on, man? Ryan, Naki Wells is still being a beast. Has he just got a hat-trick? Ho oh, ho! Let's get it in the chat, boys and girls. We need some more members. 99 pence to join. Sorry for shouting. We need to see, like, the, the great wall of Naki Wells. Come on. Full-time, 4-0 against the team who was second in the league. And now we play Bristol City. Big game, the grub ready for New Year's. Feed the knack and it will score. It's crazy. Like At this rate, we're going to be able to sell him for like 4 million. I doubt we will, but you never know. 20 goals. Look at that. On the 18th of September. I mean, it's massively declining, which is expected at 31. Physical stats will start going down at this point. His value went from 3.3 .3 to 2.5. Um, but yeah. Incredible signing. And it's not even a rep thing either. Like, I don't know how we got him. Like, if we look at our rep, our rep is nothing compared to... Can we do England? I want to see the rep, actually. Where do we fall in terms of the rep? I haven't looked at this yet on this game. I don't think it's going to show us. Oh, it will do, actually. Uh, where the hell are we? <laughs> we didn't even fall into it. <laughs> what the hell? That's depressing. Apparently, I've got to press the minor button. Oh, there we are. <laughs> That's our rep. Our rep is 
National League. We're, we're lower than most of the National League teams. One and a half star rep. So, like I say, th there's no, there's no like logical factor how we got Nakuas. It was just interested in joining us. It's not a rep thing. It's not a money thing. It, it just joined us. We just got lucky because our rep is awful. Look at that. That's depressing. Jesus, you would have thought a rep would have gone up a little bit more, right? Considering we won the FA Trophy twice? You would have thought that would have gone up. That's crazy. So when you take into account, right, how incredible we're doing this season, we're, we're, our rep is basically National League and below. Probably the lower league of the... Maybe the National North, to be fair, looking at this. In terms of rep, we got given a sixteen thousand pound financial fair play. We are spending six hundred and thirty-three k on wages, the lowest in the football league. We've got the lowest attendance in the football league, and we're top of the league too. That's, that's got to be that's got to be something, right? Bradford has championship rep in the lower leagues, I know. When is it realistic to stop relying on loans? I won League 2 with Northampton and they gave me 15k for transfers. I had five loanies from Leeds and they won me the league. I mean, you have to do it. Like, teams do it in real life. So why not? I, I I go with loans even in the even in the Premier League, man. Until I start building a team, like you have to go with loans, especially if you get like a senior affiliate. Does geographical location play a factor? What in terms of signing Naki Wells? Oh, I don't know, you know. <laughs> Cheat code. <laughs> Sorry. It could be because... Hang on, let's put this down. Where, where's, where's he from? Where's, where's, where was he born? We've not looked at this, have we? Look at his information. Um... Well, for a start, he wasn't even born in England, so that doesn't really play a factor. But where was he? Like, where's he been bad? I don't know. It doesn't say. But of course, it like Bradford. Like, Bradford and Huddersfield is very close to Farsley, isn't it? Is it? I think, I think Bradford's close to Sheffield. Yeah, Bradford's close to Sheffield, right? It could be. I don't know. I don't know if it works like that. Uh, I'm not going to delve too much into it. Jamie choosing some Capri Sun action instead of a beer. Just love to see it. Mate, you can't go wrong with Capri Sun. Yeah, Bradford is next to Farsley. So it, it could be, but I don't know if FM goes that into depth in terms of play. There's like, there's got to be a reason. Like, there's no. I, like I say, there's, there's, there's no logical reason how we could get Naki Wells, but we have. And it worked. He is our most highest paid player. He shouldn't really be in League 2, but he is. Based on everything that I just told you. Maybe we got lucky and we bid for, bid for him at the right time. I don't know. But more importantly, let's get your predictions in the chat. We have got... Bristol City, the first time we are playing a Premier League team. Now, Bristol City are currently 20th in the Premier League. Bottom of the Prem. Played six. They haven't won a game. Drew against Fulham. Morale, I'm assuming, is going to be shite. Got a few injuries. Morale's poor. Fairly okay poor. I don't know what we can do here. Oh, can you imagine if we beat a Premier League team? We're still unbeaten as well. 
we're favourites. Like, we're, we're actually favourites against the Premier League team. But this is all based on morale, league position, form. As you can see, that's why we're favourites. But still, against the Premier League team, I don't know if they'll rotate. I don't know if they'll play the first team. The downside is we've got Dominic Revan injured. That's that's bad news, man. Can you play more loans in the in the um in the cup? You can, okay. Right, here we go. Um Is that a rotated team? I think that's a rotated team. Is it? I don't know. I can't it is a they're playing under twenty threes. They are actually playing under 23s. Some of them, anyway. <laughs> They've rotated. Oh, that is so good. Just if you look at the value here, obviously the, the highest valued players are injured. Liam Walsh is playing, of course. Stoga's been left out. Berekovic has been left out. All of these have been left out. Nagy's injured. Santon's been left out. They've rotated completely, I think. Of course, we need to watch out for Medjubri, who's on loan from United, but... Yeah, I, I don't know if we've got a chance here. Honestly, looking at this team... Of course, it's still a good team, but... Uh, I don't know. See, now I think, we, I, now I think we're going to get destroyed, because the morale of these players... I mean, this guy's awful. He's their left winger. Where's the wing back? Let's have a look at the centre backs. Of course, they've got Zach Viner, who's good. Moore, who's decent as well. Got a very good three centre backs. Slow pace, not very fast. Balls over the top. Naki Wells can feel it. Let's go. We don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, the instant results button is through this skin. Thing is, now they've rotated, they're probably going to destroy us. Because these are players who want to make a point. These are players who haven't been losing. Their morale's not that bad. They're in the under-23s. They've probably been winning games in the under-23s. So we probably will get destroyed here. I feel like I would have had more chance if they played the full-strength team, to be honest. On the back foot here a little bit. Good tackle by Malumbi, but it's gave the ball away. Good save by Kelleher. Oof. That kept us in it there. What a save. Yeah, it's going to be a hard game, man. This is going to be very hard. Based on everything that I've just said. Oh, another good save by Kelleher. Oh my lord, it's kept us in this. Jeez. Yeah, they're all over me. Keep them frustrated if we can. I'm not really getting a highlight, am I? We're having, we're having some shots now, but I'm not really... Here we go. More goss. Dwayne, where are you going? Don't lose the ball there. Malumbi. Morgos. Dickinson, look at the space. Dickinson! Oof. Been out for the last hour, are we doing? We're doing good, we haven't lost yet. They're in the, F we're in the um, EFL Cup. No! Own goal! Fuck! Ah, uh, this is going to be hard to come back from this. Oh, I feel, like, I feel that's unlucky. It was an own goal in the end. We, we lost this because they rotated. And we're missing our main centre-back as well. I'm not making excuses. We've still got time. We're not really giving anything in this game. Ambrose. Ambrose. 
Good save, O'Leary. Someone's knocking at my door, one sec. Ah, uh, back. <clears throat> it was just a delivery. Right, half time, one nil down. Sorry for the barking. <laughs> right, I don't know what we can change here. Uh... Yeah, they all want to impress the manager. It's, it's going to be hard to get to get anything from this. I mean, we, to be fair, if we get knocked out, it's fine. Don't really want to be playing any more games, so. I mean, we'll go very attacking, maybe, towards the, towards the end. But we're not really getting any chances at all. Can't even fill the stadium. Dickinson's on a 6 rating. Um... Ambrose, let's bring on Mass, maybe, just maybe. He's more of a target man type player, so he can hold the ball up and knock the ball on, maybe, for, for Wells. Right, I'm going to go very attacking to try and steal a goal. Go push forward. Disappointing, to be fair. Come on, more Goss. Oh, it's, a, it's offside. No. Ooh. How annoying. Oh, last chance. More goss. Oh, no. He's going to lose the ball. Milovanovic. Malumbi. Don't lose the ball. More goss. No. Oh, I thought that was... I thought that really... I really thought that was 1-1. One, one. How annoying. Mass, nice. Go on. Go on, Mass. We've got a corner. Four minutes at a time. The main. Morgos. Oh, what was that? Divine. Come on, man. Nah, put him. Oh, I thought he was going to lose it then. Is there another highlight? I feel like there's another highlight coming. Give it, give it, oh, there we go. Divine, here we go. Come on, come on. Where's Nel Where's Wells? Oh, what the that was awful as well. Prince Emery, the guy we, all we, we almost signed this season, which is really annoying. Yeah, 2 0 down. Hey. I mean, we did all right. We, you know, we played a Premier League team. 
disappointing in the end. There's the highlight, there it was. Alright, we've got League 2 to focus on now, of course. Still got the FA Cup as well. Did we did we re uh, reach the expectation of what the board wanted? By the way, uh, what did they want in the FL Cup? Reached second round, so we passed. We passed that. So at the minute, that's why I wanted to remove the set pieces because we are doing like. At the minute, the board are like so happy with everything. We're literally on course for everything in the club division. The goal disallowed though, that's annoying. Got Warsaw next. Never know we could go on an FA Cup run. I honestly think we lost that because of, of the rotation. Right, have we got kind of an easier October coming up? Because Jesus Christ. Playing so many games. Let's check that post. Oh, it's got 10 comments. <laughs> I'm just looking at that... Um... 21 comments on Facebook about that tackle. <laughs> what are you barking at? But no sign of a takeover either. How can all the targets be on course when the bank account is constantly leaking? Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is it better to have less obligations right now because the team needs often rotation because of the condition of the players? Uh, yeah, I guess. It's just it's just these these this September. I think it's September and October, right? Is it September and October where there's loads of games? Once you get out of October, it's kind of good. It feels like these months take forever because it's so many games. What makes you believe there'll be a takeover? I'm just saying I've not had one yet. Like, usually, I was talking to a few of my friends, and they've gone the entire, like, all the way to the Prem, 28-29 season, and they've still got the same chairman as their Kings Lynn. So FM, there was always a few takeovers during FM20. Uh, FM19, sorry. It just seems to be less and less. Has anyone had a takeover on their save? Right, Warsaw now. Malumbi needs a rest, Jesus. So we're going to have to rotate here. We only need to rotate two players, which is fine. Revan is back. Malumbi can have a full game off, I think. Okay, let's go with this. Maybe they just nerf the um the, the amount of takeovers that you get. Cause like I say, you used to get quite a few on FM19. Not quite a few, but you'd at least get one before you got to the Premier League. Wells, boom. I, I just have constant rumours of takeover. Yeah, I've, I've heard that as well. But I haven't even had any, any rumours of takeovers. Naki Wells. Duaney. Oh, 
Are the Germans in the Premier League better than those in the lower leagues? Yes, usually. Dickinson, nice. You know what I would like to kind of see on FM? Like bad Germans? Because let's be honest, the Germans are kind of the same, I guess. But I'd like the option to maybe one day get like a Mike Ashley Chairman. I know that's bad. Like, but I think this should be something like that where you get a takeover and they just won't give you anything. Or give you the very minimum. Looks like we're going to run fire against Walsall. We got promoted with Bradford Park Avenue in the first season with Quaim Thomas scoring 25 goals for me on loan. Scored two in two, uh, scored in two minutes from Bromley against me. Nice. Adebayo. Good save. Hughes gets a lot, a lot of yellow cards, don't he? Wells, look at Wells' pace. Oh, it's so good. This guy is awesome. Naki Wells is going to be the stream hero in the lower leagues, 100%. Like, the keeper didn't even know what to do. Picks up on the halfway line, goes all the way, no one goes near him. And keeper comes out too far, straight on the right-hand side. Morgos used to be a decent player for low league size and FM19, still good. It's alright, it's not, it's not the best. I mean, it's probably League 2 standard, I won't say it's League 1 standard. Dickinson, 4 nil. Jeez. Warsaw are getting taught a lesson here. Fars' chairman will probably let you bankrupt the club. He's not that fussed about expenditure on my save. We haven't lost in the league yet, though, have we? We are still unbeaten. Only five points clear, mine. But look at that. We're already 11 points clear of, of going out of the automatic um, promotion. Jeez. Might be an early promotion, boys, if we, like I say, if we carry on like this. It's like Kellen Gordon they've got. Oh. Oh, it's Josh Gordon. All right, let's make some changes. Let's bring on the main. I oh, know we're going to rest the main. I'm going to bring on Dicko. Let's give Dicko a game. Milanovic to rest Sam. And Rooney to rest Duaney. We need to be making three subs a game. Vish, what's going on, man? This is early. I mean, I've been streaming for two hours. Been two hours already. Jeez. Yeah, I start streaming about 10. Rooney, great ball. No one there. Oof, can't keep a clean sheet. I think this stream, like... I don't know. I'm I'm feeling a big stream today. If you guys are going to be about most of the day, I mean I'm probably not going to stream late, later than four because that's stupid. I might stream till about four o'clock. Yeah, should we do a six-hour stream? Maybe we'll see, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. All right, Dwayne is out.
I'll get some of people to watch on New Year's Day, I guess. Whoever missed it today. So saying that, everyone's going to have hangovers tomorrow. 12 hour? Nah, I'm not doing 12. <laughs> you know a year ago today? This actually is a year ago. No, was it a year? No, two years ago. No, a year ago. Uh, what year are we in? 2019. That's a stupid question. Two years ago, we did a 24-hour stream. And I need to go to the shop now. <laughs> yeah, I'll never do a 24-hour stream again. I actually thought I was going to die. It was horrible. <laughs> what year is it? What day is it? Reminds me a bit of Esposito in my Everton save. He scored 115 goals in two seasons. And nobody else could even get double digits in a season. Walls is going to get at least 55, I'm sure. Do you reckon? It's going to be interesting to see. I've never had a player in League 2 who's got that many goals before. Um, it don't show you the records, does it? Like, can you see the records of, like, the top goal scorer in, like, a League 2 season? Is that possible? I don't think it is. I've never seen that before. Like, on, on obviously, on the records, can you see... The player who scored the most amount of goals in one year. I don't know if it shows you that. Does it? You have like stuff like biggest wins and stuff, but... I don't know if it goes into depth. Oh, there it is. Most overall goals by a player in a season. Terry Bly for Peterborough in 1960-61 season. That guy scored 52 goals. You reckon Naki Wells can beat that? Imagine beating like a 60 year old record. That would be pretty incredible in League 2. That only counts for League, league goals though, doesn't it? That's not, is that overall goals though or is that League goals? Is that like in a se I don't know what it said. Is that in a season? At most overall goals, does that mean just like, like, because this number is different, right? So he's scored what? He's scored 22 goals, yeah? But he's only scored 22 goals in the league, 21 goals, sorry, in the league. I don't know if that averages like everything throughout that season or if it averages just the league. Got Norwich City under 23 is coming up. They lost to Lincoln. So we need to see if we can beat Norwich. We might probably, we're probably going to finish second in this group. Maybe. I'm hoping. Unless we can beat Lincoln. We're missing Wells. For God's sake. He keeps getting called up to Bermuda. <laughs> no. Right, um, so we've got a few injuries here. Rooney's going to have to go in. Morgos is out. The Malumbi comes back in. Oh, shit. What have I just done? Malumbi swaps over. Where's Nemain? Let's bring Nemain back in. Fitness overall, decent. Looking at the schedule for October. Bloody hell, look at the amount of games. It's stupid, man. But there's more games in October than there is in September. Ten games. That was less. There's nine. James Norwood. Fish, did you see that tackle on the um, on the Twitter? I think this is better than this. We need to get an attacking coach. I keep forgetting. We're going to do that in a sec. Norwood. But save Kelleher has been really good, you know. I think he's been pretty decent this season. Oh, 
Columbia. Wells. Wells. 1-0. Oh, mate. It's so good. Naki. 23 goals. No. There'll probably be a stream tomorrow as well, by the way. Or there will be a stream tomorrow, but tomorrow's stream will be like 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Right, 1 0 at half time. We'll take it. <laughs> he got the ball. <laughs> the worst tackle I've ever seen. I feel like these are going to score. It's a good goal, to be fair. Get into the pram tomorrow. Oh, we are still unbeaten in the league. Uh, what can we change here? Let's bring on... Let's bring on Mass. I want to bring on Dicko, actually. Let's see if Dicko can get a goal. We're going to take off Nemain as well. Smith is playing shite. Not really going on to bring on. He didn't, he didn't get injured either now. Dicko just falls over the ball. This might be a loss. Oof. We're struggling against Wickham for some reason. They're on mid-table as well. We'll start to get complacent soon, that's the problem. Malumbi. Stanley. Nice. Oh, it's a pen of what? <laughs> Malumbi. Oh, he scored that one. I was worried then because he missed in the EFL. Uh, he missed in the leasing.com trophy. 2-1. I feel like we don't kind of deserve this win, really. Milovanovic has done all right, you know, at centre-back. Looks like Leighton Orient will back to the National League in your save. Set Wells as a penalty taker. I think we need to, actually. If we're going to try and break this record, I think we should. That's a, that's a good idea. They're down to 10 men now. That should be a win, really. All right, we'll take it. We had to struggle against them, but we, we got the win. Cambridge next, then Norwich. Uh, let's do that now, actually. I'm gonna um I'm gonna refuse anyone at hat trick. <laughs> Naki Wells is the penalty taker, nobody else. I mean to be fair, he has got you know decent stats for penalties. But Naki Wells, even if a striker is on two goals, he is gonna take that penalty kick. Sam Hughes isn't good enough to get to the game. The playtime he wants? What you want about is my first choice centre back. <laughs> what the hell? I like how his work rate's gone up. What's the reason for that? Progress. Attributes. Work rate. So he started at 12. He's had a bit of an increase. 12 to 13. That's a big increase on his work rate. Jeez. Usually, usually attributes don't go up that much. They usually tend to go from 
Try and find someone else who's maybe increased. Uh, let's have a look at... We haven't really got players increasing. That's the problem. Apart from Sam Hughes. What about this guy, Kelleher? Let's go on his progress. Or, in fact, did they... Uh, I remember something. Um, have they removed the decimal points now? I don't know if someone mentioned it. I think they've actually removed the decimal points, haven't they? Or am I imagining a comment that I've seen? Yeah, I thought they did. So it's... Yeah, so it's not like an increase as we thought. So it's probably like... If it was 12.4, it might be 12.6, but it's coming up as 13. That's a bit shit. I don't like how they removed that, to be honest. I used to like the decimal points, because I could get a, like, you know, you could look into it quite a lot. <laughs> My chairman loves me, doesn't he? Barthorpe loves me. Right, let's get this October out of the way. Then we'll have the FA Cup in what? Sep uh, November? Or December? We've got no qualifying rounds now for the FA Cup either. I just lost three games in a row. Can you help me? I mean, not really. I don't really know your team. I don't know your tactics. Right. Does anyone else feel like it takes so long in September and October on FM? I know it's a lot of games, but it does feel like it takes forever to get through it. But we do play a team now who's 20th and a team who's 17th, so... Unfollow all social feed, what do you mean? Um, Morgos is back. Oh, we need some rest here, man. Jeez. Um, Yeah, we're going to have to rest two of our players here. We, 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 to be honest, we're not like... We're not really being able to play full teams because we're having to rest. Right, I'm just going to nip downstairs and grab a drink. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll start the game. Hopefully we're winning, but time I get back. Back in a second.
I'm back. <clears throat> what happened? Well, there, there. Oh, Naku all scored. Oh, they must have scored a good goal. What the hell? Shit goal, let's be honest. Oh, use look at the centre back. He's never gonna run all the way. Oh, he hasn't got the legs. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I didn't do so no. I'm going to. So many likes on that picture. More goss. Come on, let's keep the run going. Let's keep this run going. Maybe we can bring on now Malumbi just to see the game out, I think. And who else do we rest? Revan. Yeah, let's let's see the game out with the two big players coming on. Fuck's sake. What is the chances? As soon as I make the sub for a centre back. This game, man, at times. Now I've got, I ain't got a centre back at centre back now. Ambrose, inside. What days do you stream? Um, it kind of depends. There's not really a set schedule. Best thing to do is follow the Discord channel, discord.gg forward slash FM Scout. Or just generally check our Twitter. Like most time of the streams are about four or five PM if it's gonna be a stream. I'm gonna draw here. Six minutes at a time. Yeah, we gotta draw. Eesh. Right, <laughs> I need to find an attacking coach. I keep saying this. <laughs> Um. Yeah, lights on that pick. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's not good. My main centre back out two to three weeks. Um. Right. I need this attacking coach. We need to get this up a little bit. Look. We haven't got the best attacking coach in the league. I don't like that. Uh, can we actually remove that for a sec? Let's go with this. Uh, let's see what loads. Harry van der Laan. I like. More of a technical, which I like. It's probably going to want too much money. We can't really... Yeah, that's way too much. Riga. Not a fan. Let's, um... Let's just go attack in a sec. Discord better than team speaking apps. Yeah, I mean... You need to move on a little bit from TeamSpeak. David Lee. 15 attacking. Ten, kind of, yeah, I like this guy. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to go with this guy.
There we go. David Lee's coming in. Right, so we play Norwich under 23s. See, really, I mean, what I should be doing, what I should have done from the start, which we haven't done, which is going to help the fitness, is bringing in a fitness coach, especially at the moment for the under 23s. Um, we can have one coach, so I'm just going to quickly bring in a fitness coach for the under 23s, even though we don't have any under 23s, um, because they will help out with the fitness. So I'm I'm gonna do that. Um, they will help out the fitness in the first team. So let's bring a fitness coach in for the twenty three years. I'll show you a little tip. If anyone, a lot of people didn't know this, and I didn't know until a few years ago. So if you're looking for under twenty three, and under twenty threes can be quite annoying to um to find. Let's be honest, because I always used to think it. I used to hate doing it. But I'll show you a little tip. Many of you will know this. You would have heard me say it before. Obviously, you select your fitness coach or select coach or whatever. And then, rather than looking for... Let me just let it load. I'll give you an example. So, rather than, you know, looking for Marco, Marcos Amado, the approach to sign him is going to want under-18s manager, for example. But instead, if you press this little button here where it says include, you can untick the first team, untick the youth team, and now it's going to show you people who is going to join you just for your under-23s. Of course, Amado will because he wanted the under-18s manager. Um, so it's a good way of, of, of finding easy targets for your under-18s, under-23s. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. I mean, we need to actually get some attributes in here. Narrow it down a bit. And Marcus Amado would be good, but... I think I don't think he'll change. I mean, he might do. He wants two point one k a week anyway. Um, I mean, look at that level of discipline. One man, jeez. Yeah, let's maybe. Um... <laughs> we don't want that. I doubt there's gonna. Yeah, I'm saying I doubt there'd be anyone at all fifteens. Maybe at fourteen though. No. Okay. 13. Gotta be. There we go. Zoran Repak. It's fine. Oh, I put my management. I put the wrong one. No. Oh, no, that was fine. Fuck's sake. All right, Repatch. Let's go with him. 1.2k a week. What about Bruard? £600 a week. I can only offer 370 G. Okay. This is going to be a bit harder than I thought. Um, it's the French, man. They're so greedy. I don't think we're going to get anyone down to that level, to be honest. Okay, we've just actually got one. Who was that? Manuel Moore. I mean, it's, it's nothing great, but is is okay. He's only going to be the under under twenty threes. We'll give him a two year. We'll give him a nine month contract. <laughs> Can I restart that? Hang on. I can't restart that. I'm going to sign him anyway for the under eighteens. It's fine because we need under eighteens. Matt Tubbs, he used to be a he used to be a player. I don't know if the under does the under 18s team, um, the, the under 18 staff, do they work with the first team as well? Or not? If they do, it's fine. I'm at the minute. I'm just looking for someone who is going to potentially accept two hundred pound a week. At the minute, they're all too high. It's 
750. I really wish you could. Um, I, I wish there was a way where you could filter this by like potential like this. Right, who's this guy? I'm just gonna bring this guy in. Um, we're gonna offer him a little bit more so he doesn't knock that down like they just did a second ago. I'm just gonna give him three, two, five. There we go. Okay, so we've got two. We've got two more fitness coaches in the in the club. That's fine. Better than nothing. They're gonna help with the first team. Yeah, Wells is on international duty. Ellis, where you been? Just leaving like that. Brett, what's going on, man? All right, let's see if we can get out of this October slur. Nine games to play in October. It's going to be hard. Oh, Dicko's just been food poisoned in five to six days. So I'm going to have to play Mass and Ambrose up top with the injuries. But we, we got two points from the first game in the EFL Trophy. Um, we are going to go... F I mean... Is it even worth going full strength? Do we just like skip these and not play them? Because they're kind of annoying. Um, I don't know if to ro completely rotate and just instant resort it. I'm thinking, where's my other centre back? Oh, it's Burns, it's an international duty. Revan's going to have to play. I, c I just can't be bothered to play against a um, under-23s team. I find it pointless. <laughs> we won on penalties. <laughs> Love it. So what's that? What's that game is in now? So we've got we've got to do something against Lincoln. Rocky Busher scored. Why is that funny? 65 people. 65 people. Holy sh... Well, that's just the... That's the group. Let's say it's not a very good player for Blackpool. Ah, okay. I've got Wrexham now.
To be fair, would you go to a leasing group stage game? You probably wouldn't, would you? Let's be honest. Yeah, I very much doubt it. I mean, I'll play like the, the knockout rounds and the stuff, but I, I'm not bothering with the group stages. I thought I'd try it this year, but it's still annoying me. Youth, fa youth facilities help determine the quality of new gem produced at the club. That's bullshit. I have the best facilities in the world at times on the saves, and I still get the shittest new gems possible. That's bollocks. I don't mean right now, I mean in previous saves. Right, Wrexham now 15th, and then Northampton, who are 11th. Best tactic for FM20, I have no idea. Check the FM Scout download section, there might be a few good ones. Injuries, man. They've got no Wrexham have got no injuries whatsoever. Um pff, Rooney at centre back. Are you being are you for real? Why can't Revan play? That's why. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. Uh where's my left back? Swan oh he's suspended. Fuck. Um. <laughs> oh no. Okay, what we're gonna have to do here? We're gonna have to not play Dickinson. Kind of falling apart with injuries and suspensions and international duties. This game right now, as you can see by my bench. Ah, uh, this is not good. Okay. No Naki Wells either. Eh. This isn't the best team we can play right now. How have I missed this series for this long, Jesus? I know, I've been streaming quite a lot, to be fair. I'm kind of expecting our first loss of the season here. Oh, Morgos, good at free kicks. Go on. Good save. Man, some might be playing the FA Trophy next season. They won't be. If Mansell get relegated, I will do a 48-hour stream. Oh, they got Barrera. Mass. Ambrose is through. Ambrose. Uh, they've got two of my players. <laughs> MLPT Jorgensen, we signed, and they've got Barrera as well. Oh. Get the ball away, boys. Yeah, we've, we've got a really poor team out right now. It was always bound to happen at some point, let's be honest. We couldn't go through the season with, you know, the, the the squad that we pit well built in the summer. Uh we're gonna lose this game. We we ain't coming back from this. Not a chance are we coming back from this game. Yeah, we've got such a poor team out. First loss of the season, boys, I think. That was a dirty pass. Clark, what are you doing? <laughs> All over the place. Wake up. Sounds to be a bit aggressive here, I think. I mean, we had nobody moan about not playing games, right? 
So that's that's a positive. So we're having to play everybody at the minute. Mass. Mass. Without Naki Wells on the pitch, I just don't feel confident. We're going to be a bit aggressive though in the team talk. Where is your passion, lads? All right, show me anger. The main, here we go. Poor. Bloody hell. Um. Ambrose. You're gonna get red card, do you? Well, no. I can't get the. I can't get the ball. That's a red card. Fucking hell. Uh, Yeah, we're going to write this game off, I think. Yeah, we're going to write this game off. I am missing like five players, I think, for this game. Are we in a slump? Hopefully not. The main's so poor at finishing. The old boys are coming back to horn. I know, it's got, like I say, Barrera and Jorgensen in, at the back four. About to keep a clean sheet against me. Seen nothing from the strikers, though, in this game. We are playing Stanley on the left and his right winger. Dicko. It feels like we're a one man team with, with um with Wells right now. I think he's back after this game though. Alright, let's get this game out of the way. Jeez, I know none of you was expecting this, right? I wasn't expecting this. 5-0, we just lost. Fuck it. it looks so weird. <laughs> it does look right. Dicko. Can't even score. Better to lose one game 5 0 than five games 1 0, I guess. You can look at it that way. Stanley has been so poor at that left back, uh, left, left mid. It's weird because Rex are like near the bottom as well. Can't even see them. That's how, I don't know where they are. Okay, I'm going to be aggressive. I want to let them know that um, <laughs> therefore we are training hard tomorrow. Right, let's see what the press make of that. To be fair, my goalkeeper has been awesome this season. I'm not appealing. Oh, Farsley's unbeaten run comes to an abrupt end. 15 matches. And then go and lose 5 0.
Twist and turns and shock results. No one was expecting that, let's be honest. Got Northampton next. Let's, I'm hoping we don't go on a bad run of form here. <clears throat> All I know is we need to bring some players in in January. Definitely. Some of our own players. Only like two or three. If we can. Why do I've got why have I got a feeling that it's it's just about to fall apart? Right, I've got Northampton now. Northampton's sixth in the league, away from home. Okay, I, I understand that you may like Farsi, but you don't need to, like, paint your face green. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's got a tattoo on his head that says C as well. <laughs> Celtic, yeah? What is that? <laughs> He's Irish, isn't he? He's getting in the mood. I've seen it before, to be fair. <laughs> Let's hope that um, not every match without Wells looks like the previous one. Yeah, I mean, he's back now. I, I mean, yeah, he's obviously been on, he's been on form, so he's been caught up. That's the reason. But hopefully, they don't know what a technical director does. I still have no idea what they do. And if it's worth having one. This is not looking good. And uh, this is really not looking good here. Have I not got a centre back? Only Burns is on international duty. Revan suspended and you oh my god, both of my main centre backs are out. Oh dear me. Um Sam Hughes is going to have to play. Or we just risk going with Clark there for this game. We're getting hit quite hard with injuries right now. I haven't even got a midfielder either. Oh yeah, I've got Malumbi. Why is Malumbi not playing? Oh, because of the five players. Right, we're going to have to play Slicker. We're going to have to drop Callagher this game. Slicker's getting his league debut. Uh, we'll bring. Oh, we're gonna have to go with this. We're, we're struggling with injuries at the minute. Squad depth isn't big because <laughs> financial fair play. Uh, we've just got lucky that we've had no injuries. Like the first month and a half, two months, we got lucky with no injuries, or not many injuries. But yeah, we're, we're getting hit at the minute now. And it's going to cost us a few points here, unfortunately. But there's not really a lot I can do about it. Financial fair play has hurt us. We, we can't spend beyond our means. We've got the depth. We've just got injuries to multiple players. Uh, I've got my two main centre-backs out. I've got two unnatural ball-playing defenders. It's not going to be a good game. Fucking hell. Uh, Mick Ginister, what's going on?
Oh, dear me. Um, there's not a lot I can do. I've got no loans out. I've got no under 23s. I'll be resting training from now on, yeah. We're just gonna have to, like, we're just gonna have to not have six points. We're gonna have to lose six points, I think. And take two losses in these, these like, last two games. I mean, Naki Wells is back as well, but again, he's been out on international duty, so he's gonna be. But this is the challenge, you know? We've got hit with financial fair play. We haven't got the money to, you know, have massive depth in the team. The squad's small. We're going to get hit with injuries throughout the season. The main, come on. Get a goal early. Early in the second half. Dickinson. Our attack should still be good, though. Good ball. Wells. Offside. Fucking hell. Wells. Get in. That's one. Come on. Come on. I'll take a draw here. Come on, Clark. Every attack they're going to get, I'm going to feel like they're going to score there with our defence. And we've got, like, a youth player in goal. <laughs> Ambrose. Give him a red card. We can't play Kelleher because we, we had to free up a space for the loan. So we could play a centre back. Oh, why would you do that? Why would you give away a penalty there? There's no way he's going to save that. Ah. Okay, we took the L. Yeah, backup keeper's not good. But we had no choice but to do that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to fill the team. Okay, I'm hoping... Uh, saying that, this game after game at the minute. I mean, we've got Finley, who's on international duty. He's back now, so the centre-back's not a problem. So I'm hoping we're back to normal, but the morale's going to start going down now. Well, let's try and get six points back. When's how many games till the 16th? Let's um, look how bad that looks. I'm just going to take this call one sec.
I'm back. <clears throat> right, let's see if we can get three points. Come on. We have got the... I'm having to play Sam Hughes. I mean, he's back from injury very shortly, but... If he gets any big injury here, we're, we're pretty much screwed, to be fair. Who was it? Just my partner's dad. We need to get three points here, boys. We've lost the last two games. Um... Dwayne, come on. The main. Dickinson, there we go. <laughs> Nosy. I'm going to shoot off after this game, though, because I need to go and nip out with him. Uh, I might come back. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll see. But I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But I'll go and get some pictures done for the missus, and I forgot about it. It's picking me up soon, so. Wells. It might only take off an hour, so I might come back on, but we'll see. I'll just join the Discord and I'll let you know. Oh, gold, Duaney. This is better. This is better. Can we maybe get to like 3 0 up or something and take off use? Would that be possible? I don't even think I've got a centre back on the bench. I hate playing players when they're injured. The concern, make it three. <laughs> you see my cat? <laughs> Hughes, Malumbi, Ambrose. Has well scored this game, I'm not sure he has. Wells. A long bit. Oh, I thought he scored. No. Half time, right. 2 nil. 2 nil up. Looking good. Better than the last two games. Jeez. I've not even got a centre-back on the bench to bring on uh, Hughes, so got to try and find some players in the summer or in January. We drew with Grinsby in the EFL Trophy as well, right? Smith. It feels like we're playing better, so can't play any worse than the last two games. Right, let's bring on Mass. Let's bring on Rooney. And let's bring on Stanley. Nah, Sam Hughes will get injured already. Three, two, one. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Dickinson. Our pitch is looking a bit um a bit damaged already at this time of year. It's not good. Oh, this is Accrington's pitch actually. Oh, come on, don't do this. No, don't do this. We need the three points. I think um Plymouth are starting to catch me, I think. I mean, their fitness is as bad as ours, to be fair. Right, we've got the three points. Thank God for that. Hopefully, we should have a better team going forward in the next... But before the Leighton Orient game, we'll have another rest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shoot off. I might be back later. If not, I'm definitely back tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. It's been, you know, longer than usual. Nearly three hours. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll be back, like I say, maybe later or maybe tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow, regardless. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And I will see you all either later on or tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Laters.